What do you mean that's Evo? <laughs> Interesting. This part right here. Are you looking at it? Huh. I've never seen anything like it. Weird, I've seen two of them. What? I'm sure if Evo's running in this time. Yeah, yeah. They do high speed desert racing. Looking for the stickers. You gotta lift these up. Okay, when you order Rock Auto, that's where the magnets are always at. <laughs> so pretty. You know what a welder, right? Evo just came out with the four link for the gladiators and in his video he said um, we've got several of these kits out there in the market several trucks running them um, but if you're the type of person who needs instructions don't buy this because they're not ready yet and I don't need to deal with all your phone calls <laughs> are you supposed to be able to do that no okay that's called an incorrect suspension setup <laughs> that's the name Hey Lane, you hold on just one sec. Just one sec, I promise. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready. Hey, this is Mike over here at Off-Road Diction. We thought we'd show y'all a Jeep that we're about to be doing some work on. Another place had put this lift kit on it. The customer wanted something he could off-road with a quality lift and be able to drive on the road also. On this kit here, he did not get what he was looking for. They put an inexpensive kit on the Jeep, which has failed in multiple ways. So we're replacing it over here with a long arm Evo kit. We didn't have a lot of options for the fact that this was a, uh, was a already a long arm. I had already cut off some very important brackets so what we're gonna be doing is putting a long arm Evo kit on it placing some hearts that have been damaged from the previous kit and going through it and make sure everything is quality and done the way the customer is expecting it I'm not trying to knock anybody but a bolt-on long long arm is, if you're gonna actually use your Jeep is not the way to go spend the money get the weld on one get it done right the customer will definitely notice the difference and he, he'll be able to do everything he was planning to do with hope you enjoyed like I've said before be sure to like and subscribe we have a lot of fun making these videos for y'all and definitely like to see uh, uh, more of them made Oh, so it's got one bolt to hold it, I guess. And then you just... Nice, nice.
already seen the beginning of the video where I was talking about this Jeep right here that we got that we had to do a lot of work to. Uh, he had another another shop build his Jeep for him. There was a lot of repairs we had to do. We had to totally replace the lift kit that was on it. We had to go through and fix the skid plates, fix uh, a lot of the bracketry. There was a lot of things we had to go through and fix on this. As you can see, we're all done with it now. The Jeep actually performs really, really well. Drives a lot better than what it did when we got it. There's a lot of shops around, but there's only one off-road addiction. And Sit down, please. Sit down. If you have a build you've had done and you're not 100% sure about the work that was done to it, bring it to us. We'll definitely look it over and let you know what we find. And the other part we do is when we find these things, we just don't tell you, hey, you need to have all this fixed. We'll bring you out to the shop like we did with this gentleman and show you exactly what we're finding and seeing so that you can see for yourself that, that the work that was done was subpar or whatever it may be. So I hope you enjoy. Subscribe and like our page. Off-Road Addiction's out.